All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, wish me luck. Well done, uh... Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I've been gone for a minute, but I can't even give you a reason, Sha. I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back. Everything's cool. Last week, Friday, was my terrier birthday. Ooh, yeah. I'm officially a grown up, I can't do still fishing no more. First year, the lighting. <laughs> Feeling stressed, I went through the struggle to get this video, to film this video right now. It is like one o'clock in the morning, close to one in the morning. So I've never filmed at night time with these lights before. I've actually only got one because when I had both these lights on, I looked like a misraced person and I'm dark skin. It's just the blew me out, way overexposed. And I don't really know how to, so we are working on it so i'm sorry if i look kind of crazy like as soon as i put my hands up my face looks gray i don't know we we're gonna we're gonna work with it like this today and hopefully over time i'll be able to fix the lightings the settings of my camera so it looks all right but you know give me a bly for today as you can tell by the title of the video it's about now it look because of the lighting it actually looks really dark but this video is about how I achieved and maintain my red hair my hair is still red you can see here it's red um on this side you can see where my roots are growing in and I haven't redone my roots yet I don't know when I will do my roots maybe Christmas maybe New Year I don't know yet but yeah so far you can see red is a flipping difficult color to maintain but i'll tell you how i did it so you know just keep watching first i need to put in this disclaimer when i wanted to dye my locks right i went to you know the encyclopedia of natural hair aka youtube to see how other people had done it and i kid you not i got so frustrated because i saw so many videos about um how to, and it was all different colours, you know, there's how to achieve blue hair, because originally I was dyed my hair blue, yeah, blue. Um, how to achieve blue hair, how to achieve blonde hair, how to achieve red hair, how to achieve purple hair without bleach. And I thought, perfect. 95% of the time, the people in these videos already had hair that had been previously dyed. So it was much easier for the colour to take in hair that's already been lightened, number one. Number two, the other 5% of the time, I don't know why I said number one, number two, the other 5% of the time, it was people that had used box dyes that on the box, it said no bleach, but there was still some other flipping kind of chemical in there that lightened their hair. So I'm gonna let you know this now. If you happen to come across this video because you wanna know how to change your hair color and your hair color is either very, very, very dark brown or black like mine, there is no way, let me tell you now, to put you out of your misery and all your Google searching, there is no way to lighten your hair colour without using bleach, peroxide, some kind of harsh chemical that is going to strip the melanin, the colour, from your hair in order for you to lighten it. Let me just let you know that now. There is no henna, there is no um, chemical free, but lighten your hair, lemon, none of it is going to work. You need to bleach your hair. One way or another, you're going to have to bleach your hair in order to dye it. So if you're not comfortable with that, and when my hair was, as a loose natural, I wasn't comfortable with that. I felt like my hair would break, like I couldn't handle it. But where, kind of, in a way, each look is kind of like a strand of hair, so it's much thicker, it can take more. So I'm okay with doing it to my locks. But if you're not comfortable with doing that, just end the search now. Because you're not going to be able to lighten your hair from this to anything else without bleach. The bleach I used, I will put a picture of it up here because I don't have it with me right now because obviously I've, I've dyed my hair. Oh, when did I do it? I did it June, July, some point in summer this year. I think it was June, end of June, something like that. And I did it twice. So I basically waited until after I went in and then I was like, yeah, I'm dyeing my hair. Um, it'll be black for the pictures and I'll dye my hair. So um, the first time I did, I used the same bleach to dye my hair both times. I did it twice and I kind of touched on the reason why that happened in my 17 month lock update so i will link that down below if you want to watch that but basically the first time i dyed my hair it was just because uh, this is when i wanted to do blue right so it was just a strip of hair right here that i wanted to have blue and i wanted it to be kind of like a navy somewhere between like a navy and a royal blue kind of in between that and i wanted just that strip when i dyed it 
I did not do my research properly so all I knew was that you need to bleach your hair and then you can dye it so I bought the bleach the box bleach which is again this one and this this is a pre lightener this isn't like um a box dye that tells you just put this in and your hair will go from something to something like when you see the they show you the color chart on the back I didn't buy that I just bought pre lightener so strip my hair off color and then add in like a semi-permanent dye um so I didn't know that you can't go and this is something else you can't go from black to blonde in one one session going from black to blonde out of all the hair colors dark brown red you know auburn whatever whatever black is the hardest to shift i don't know why just how melanin is that strong but black is the hardest to shift so to go from black to blonde which is the ideal situation for whatever color you want to dye because think of it like painting if you're going to paint you're going to paint on a white piece of paper to get the color to show up really bright no one take down any kind of bad way don't don't so you need to sh get your hair as close to blonde as possible so that whatever color you want to dye it is going to look exactly like the bottle that you picked up of color black is the hardest I didn't know that so the first time I did it I just put the box the pre lightener in followed the instructions and then my hair was pumpkin orange now if it's the first time you're trying to bleach your hair know that you're gonna to have to do it in a few sessions over a period of time and pumpkin orange is the first thing you're going to get when I got pumpkin orange hair I was like hell no I can't go to work like this tomorrow this is a, this is a joke so I just thought I could just fling the blue on top forgetting that there's something called a color wheel and it will all be you know fine and dandy no my hair was green vomit green and I had that vomit green hair for a month because I was not going to bleach my hair again I tried to put black um like a black rinse dye on top it was an epic fail so I had basically moss vomit green hair for a month until I would dye my hair again and in between that I conditioned my hair so the second time I used the same pre lightener but I now had decided not to dye my hair blue but to dye it red because even if my hair went pumpkin orange again um, because this time I was dyeing my whole head so I knew it was gonna go pumpkin orange and probably the that center strip would be a bit lighter that dyeing it red from the color wheel it would be fine if i had really really wanted to dye my hair a completely different color like let's say i really wanted to have that strip of hair blue i would have probably just gone to a hair salon gone to a professional and let them do it for me and know that i'm gonna have to go like maybe two or three sessions over a period of time to get my hair from black to blonde before i can put the blue in so if you're doing it yourself bear that in mind you cannot go from black to blonde in order to dye it some other kind of crazy color unless it's going to be something like red or auburn or something like that that if your hair when your hair goes pumpkin orange it's going to complement the color you're going to dye it to so like mine it went orange i dyed it red bear that in mind the color i used to achieve this now my hair if i come a bit closer you can see this front section here it's brighter because I had previously bleached that and I left a month in between bleaching sessions whereas the back and stuff is a lot deeper because I only left the bleach or the pre lightener in my hair for about 20 minutes um, no actually that's a lie I had it on the ends of my hair for about 20 minutes and then on the roots of my hair I added it 20 yeah after 20 minutes and left it for another kind of 15 so the that part of my hair is a lot deeper Whereas this part, you can see where it's like proper, proper red. The red that I used is from Creative Image Adore. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this rinse dye, um, semi-permanent hair color. And the color I got was number 71 Intense Red. I don't know if you can see that. Focus, no focus, whatever. Number 71 Intense Red, that's what I got. And let's see if I can open this without making a mess. I don't know if you can see, that's yeah you can see that that's that's what it looks like i still got some inside that's the color that it looks like so it kind of looks pink i'll also say this again there are so many people that have had really bad reactions to semi-permanent dyes i know previously like you know some years back it used to be called a bit caused by a chemical called ppd which was predominantly found in black rinse dyes or black semi-permanent dyes and so they always recommend you do a 48 hour test I will not lie I don't always do that it's bad because just because you weren't allergic the last time doesn't mean you're not gonna be allergic this time so the best thing to do is if you're gonna dye your hair 
what I do is I get a cotton swab, I get a little bit of the dye and you put it about a two piece sized amount just behind your ear and leave it for a couple of days. Now because I've got lots, I'm not, I don't wash my hair every day. So if I know I'm gonna wash my hair this weekend, then a couple of days before, just a little dab, forget about it. If I ain't got no itching or no bumps or anything, then I'm fine, good to go. And that's the easiest way, the safest way to do it. If you get any irritation, anything like that, then just don't do it, don't risk your, don't risk your life because people have died. Don't die for hair color. On to maintaining. The way I maintain my hair color, because red is hard to maintain, even how it is now where you see some of it's bright, some of it's, it's hard. It rinses out so fast. You have to like wash your hair with cold water as it's long. Red hair is long. The easiest way for me to maintain it so that I don't have to wash my hair with freezing cold water in winter is I put a little bit of hair dye in my conditioner every single time I wash my hair. So the conditioner I use, I don't have the other one with me, but the the one I mix it with. So I use ORS um, hair mayonnaise and I use uh, Talia Wajid. This is the enhancing herbal conditioner. I mix the two together and then I squeeze a big fat dollop of the hair dye in it. I have one of those little dye, you know the little black um, cup things that you use to mix dye? I just mix it in there, put on some gloves, sometimes, and then I will just saturate my hair in it like I was just doing a deep condition um, put a bag over my head if I want to sit under the dryer for 15 minutes rinse it out as normal and that kind of maintains what I have now otherwise after about not even two, not even two washes after a wash you will see the color goes way down so red hair in particular is really really hard to maintain you have to keep it up so for me that's been the easiest way to do it and not there's it's just so many things like you shouldn't wash your hair at night anyway if you have locks because then you can get like mouldy hair and all that if your hair doesn't dry properly but then in particular for like having red hair if you go to sleep at night with wet hair your pillows will be pink in the morning it's very annoying it's it's kind of long to maintain red hair but you know if you like it it's worth it hope that was helpful i hope it helps someone because these are things i wish someone had just you know been blunt and said when i wanted to bleach my hair um bleaching is very very I don't want to say the word damaging, but it is very, it's a very harsh process to put your hair through. So bear that in mind before you do it. I know some people are not, um, they don't like the idea of putting conditioner in their hair. I never used to use conditioner in my hair. I used to just do hot oil treatments um, until I bleached my hair. And then I just, I had to do it because your hair will get very, very dry. In particular, my hair was, I bleached my whole head. So... I have to use conditioner. If your hair has not fully locked, I'm talking to the locked ladies, if your hair has not fully locked, don't use conditioner. Don't even bleach your hair. If you wanna really wanna dye your hair, either dye it before you do your locks or wait till your hair is fully locked. I waited till over a year before I, I bleached my hair. If your locks are not set, they're not fully, you know, fully locked where they don't unravel, do not do it. You're gonna just kind of what's the word undo the whole process that you're trying to do to get your hair to lock if you have any because i've had a lot of questions about my hair color and stuff in previous videos so if you have any questions about bleaching your hair dyeing your hair how you maintain it afterwards like i my last video about moisturizing my locks is how i keep them you know soft and everything on a weekly basis not daily weekly basis but this is how i keep the color in and this is how i achieved this particular color it wasn't a mix of different colours, it's just because I had previously bleached this part and I hadn't previously bleached that, that's why I got brighter on the top and darker at the bottom. But if you've got any other questions, anything like that, please put them in the comments below, send me a message, anything like that, and then um, I will get back to you on it. If it's a lot, then I'll do another video on it, like a part two. But yeah, I'm really tired now, I'm sure it's like half one in the morning, so I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys next week Sunday. Thanks for watching, bye!